What's up guys? This is Mad Squash 924 here. Welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. We're here in what is it? Night City? Is that what this place is called? I don't remember. What's this? Hey! What's up, man? Don't get smart. Back it up. Sorry. Just was curious what was going on here. It's the beat cop. Anyways, we gotta meet up with Dex, so uh we're just walking around, exploring the city, I suppose, as that's going on. So let's do that. Hello. Low poly man, I think. Oh yeah. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? Um... This is some sort of test. Eh, just a pet topic of mine. You mean... riddles? No, Mr. V. Ontology. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's okay. no problem. I mean, it sounds kind of important. No, no problem. Just a death sentence. NC's Arasaka's turf. Nobody fucks with them here. What can I say, Mr. V? High risk, high reward. First rule of the afterlife. Besides that, I'm no leadhead. Ain't gonna leave no trace for them to follow because we're gonna do this clean and on the hush hush. We understand each other. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, the rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client? What's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, we'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. The hell's a shard? <laughs> Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gang made one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shipstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the lady, though? Free Madonna. Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. 
the one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. All right. Looks like we got stuff to do. And just enjoy our nice ride. Our nice ride through the city. I guess I could skip the ride if I hit the B button, but what's the joy in that? If we get to have a nice relaxing ride, you know? Unless it ends up being like two minutes long or something. Big place though. One more thing, Mr. B. What's that? Quiet life or blaze of glory. Hmm? Don't know yet. I don't know how we're gonna do this yet. If it's gonna be that kind of method, quiet life or a blaze of glory, so to speak. Alright. Hold on, let me adjust my headset. Alright, street cred. Performing certain actions will reward you with street cred. Build your street cred to make a name for yourself in the Night City Underworld. Doing so will open up new opportunities. Okay. We're entering new area of Kabuki. Jackster. Oh, Jackie's calling. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally in now again. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. This oh, is we got a message bot, too. Military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the Gangoons had to switch up in management. You gonna say something, Jackie? Or are you gonna stand there right, just right, dribble dribble in your that. mouth? Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Right. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> Hang on. Nick, you don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junkie snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker Probably. wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, Holy how crap, you want look to at his this? eyes. Maelstrom the kid's messed up. was first. I mean, I guess we can, we can do the client first. Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. What I lay. In that case, I'll hit the all foods, put my nose to the ground, sniff around. Let's start okay. away, go. All right, let's go to Lizzie's bar between 6 p.m. and 6 in the morning. So, the AKA, we actually have an hour, over an hour to kill. All right, so what are we gonna do in the meantime? We have some stuff we could do. Oh, we also have a level. Nice, I didn't even realize that. Um, attribute point and a perk point. All right, let's go into here first. Um, do we want anything in here? Hopefully, regenerates during combat, increases the max HP, increases max stamina. Um, what's over here? Reduces recoil, more damage basically, and reload times are reduced. Go straight brawler style. That'd be cool. Blunt weapons, combo attacks, might play stun, increase armor by 15% while blocking with a blunt weapon. Alright, what do we have in the stealth tree? Because I did mention I want to do some stealth-like things, I think. Better movement speed while we're sneaking. Increase damage dealt by silenced weapons while sneaking. 
We don't have a silenced weapon yet, just to keep in mind, so that I guess isn't totally... That's kind of out of the question for now. After defeating an enemy, gain cold blood for 10 seconds and increase movement speed stacks up by 2. Okay, what are some of this other stuff? Um, let's go more into uh, cool. Because I just want to do more stealth-like things. Allows you to throw knives. That's interesting. And what's this? Allows you to perform non-lethal aerial takedowns. That sounds sick. Let's get that. Right, and now we have some, some time to blow to ourselves. So we could do this, or we could do this. Well, we have to do that later anyway, so it seems. Um, let us do one of these. Pay off our debt to Victor. We don't have enough money to do that. Collect your gun from Wilson. I tried doing that earlier. He didn't give me a gun. Maybe it was glitched. It, it could be. Go fight Kabuki. Wait for the lockdown to end. Retrieve the ping quick hack from a, from the net runner. We could try doing that for now. Where is that? Um, that is quite far. What's the map say? Oh, it's not as bad as I think it is. Theoretically, we could drive there, I suppose some other discoveries. I mean, this is a good time, since we, we have time to blow to ourselves, we should uh, do that. What's this? What's Dex just say? I just want to remind you again that Edel's already changed hands between me and my esteemed Maelstrom partners and Biz. around round sum of 10,000 10, euro bucks, to be precise, so when they're taken off their hands, don't let them try to shake you down, as they're liable to do so. Maelstrom being Maelstrom. Yeah. Thanks. You'll need it. Best of luck. Is he saying something else? There's ellipses. Guess that's it. All right, let's go. All right, let's go uh, over here. It's very close, apparently, which is good. Let me just take a nice run there. Excuse me, pardon me. I'm just crossing the road. Dun, 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 dun. Oops, put my gun away. That being... Not idealistic to take out my gun. What's this thing say? I'm trying to follow it. Ah, this way. There we go. I mean, we have a lot of time to kill, so might as well just, you know, do some other stuff. Hi. Yes? What's up? What you guys doing? Nothing? Alright, I see you. I need a nap. Just a short one. Alright, let's um keep on going. It's in this place, apparently. Hi! Hello! Um I'm supposed to get my T stuff. sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had Correct. me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Alright, um, Got a Miltech Paraline, always glad okay. to grab a hack. Glad to grab a demon, always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract okay. some Shimsoft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. Alright, what do we have here? Um, where is this quick hack demon thing? Is this it? It's a ping. Reveals enemies and devices connected to the local network. Some of the oldest, most basic functions. Computing may never outlive their usefulness. Well, where, which one is it, though? It's supposed to be something called the demon. Unless it's the quick hack. So I'll pick this up. Since it costs nothing. I guess that's the one. All right. Um, anything cool for sale? All right, I think that'll do us. Equipping quick hacks in your cyber deck. Your cyber deck has a limited capacity for quick hacks, but you are free to swap out which ones you have installed on it whenever you wish. To do so, go to your inventory. Okay, let's see. It says equip the ping, quick hack, in your inventory, which is right here. 
It's like cyberware deck slots. Oh, cyber deck right here. And then we go and place it in. What do we take out? Short circuit? Short circuit's not great. Reboot optics. Resets an enemy's optical wear. Uh, non lethal. It's also kind of non lethal. It's fine for now. I'll keep this on me. I don't know if we're going to switch it on or not. Don't know. Upload ping to the camera. Find the access points. All right. Um, ping. Execute. All right. Use your personal link to connect it to the access point and hack it. Use your personal link to connect it. What? I don't get it. What's this? Jack in. Oh, I guess we do this. All right, so 1C. Um, and 55. 55. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. All demons are uploaded. All right. Oh, we got some components for doing that. That's cool. Job completed. First little job. Got anything Nova for? If you can no, I'm leaving. Bye bye. Yes. Nope. Bye bye. All right, we still have more time to dick around and do whatever we want, more or less, I guess. So let's uh, do that. What else we got in our journal? Let's see. What's this? We can wait for lockdown to end. Defeat all opponents to get to the final round. No. Track job. Let's um go fight in Kabuki. Let's do that. I also could theoretically go around and um I suppose uh see some of these other things that were that are in the map. That I guess leads to jobs, I'm assuming. That's a nice glitch. Powerful. Um what do we have here? Gig. Woman La Mancha. Find Anna Hamill. We can track that. It's close by. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. It's close. It's the only reason I'm doing it, really. Answer my call. So, looks like we found the last honest cop in this city. Her name's Anna Hamill, and whatever she... Yep investigating it's made her a lot of enemies she'd do best to cut it out if you catch my drift what are okay. these goblin shrimp uh, okay look expect? i know how it sounds but somebody would have taken this gig what anyway you know right kabuki, i don't know man? maybe there's an Come angle on, you can play here either Just way info's attached in an anti -whiff tablet for this man 15 percent off or all I right let's see here um what was this we got a message too all right let's uh let's start from the top Gig type, gun for hire. Objective, force Anna Hamill to drop her police investigation. Location, Kabuki Market. Details. Anna, Anna, <laughs> excuse me. Anna Hamill is a blue-blooded cop. Through and through. The kind you expect to see in some NCPD promo. Beautiful, smart, honest to a fault. In other words, a really bad fit for Night City. Her NCPD colleagues are another story. They all have back problems for sitting on the fat wallets. The current case Hamill's working on has them all breaking out in hives. She's digging into the smuggling racket in Kabuki Market, which, if she makes any real headway, means bad biz for her cop buddy's finances. They want someone from the outside to precinct to nip this thing in the butt. Normally, that's where I'd leave it, but I want to add one more thing. I kind of feel bad for the girl. Rather, she not flatline if you can avoid it. Convince her to skip town or drop the case and make a career change at least. And I guess that's what she looks like. And they call them. Can you can you tell who it is based off of this? I imagine it's one of these. Possibly. But it doesn't tell me. Scan. Alright, whatever. Let's ask around. Hello. Hello? Ah. I've never seen this woman. Thanks for food. nobody. And I just want to keep selling food. That is all yes. I was saying. Okay. 
Of course. Of course. Hello. Bird change. Nope. I'm ready. Who are you? A thug. Hello. We could screw with them a little bit, but want to be smart. Hello, Polygon Lady. What are you? My name is Tigress. <laughs> right. Sir, where's the other green pit? There you are. Okay. There you are. Uh, this, this one. Thirty something, slightly shorter than yourself. Heard she comes around here a lot. This is Kabuki. We get a lot of people. And smart asses. A lot of them too. Yeah, smart asses too. Smart asses who can recognize a cop's face. So how about it? You know her? I might. Depends on how much you'll be spending on your uh, groceries today. You're telling me you're harboring a badge while operating that tiger claw turf? I, I wouldn't. I swear it. Oh, I believe you. But them? You know what they do to liars? Slice their digits off. Clean. Sometimes they even go further than that. All right. All right, I get it. Girls renting out a room in this here motel. Right okay. over there. Alright, thank you. That's all I need to know. Let's uh head to this hotel. And convince her to uh, quit this job. Final record. Hello. Like how it's just on the ground. Um, that's it. $151. So poor. I only got like 300 something left. No. Oh, new message. Your motel room. We are delighted to welcome you as your newest guest. Your room number is 203. We wish you a pleasant stay. This is an automated message. Please do not reply. That's cool. I wonder how like crazy the world will end up actually becoming in 2077 in actuality. I doubt it's going to be to this extent, of course, but it's still cool. Where is 203? Here it is. Is there anything in this room I can take since it's my room? Like, this money I can't seem to grab? Okay. V, what are you doing? V? Thank you. That's all I was trying to do. Great. Quality art. Thank you. What else is here? I'm not gonna rest here, that's for sure. Is that dynamite? What? Coffee. Some drinks. I might have to like sell a bunch of food and stuff eventually. Some damaged clothes I can sell. Spray paint. Some money. Other stuff. Lottery scratch card. I'll sell that to when we get to an area. Um, anything else? What's this? Can I grab it? Nope. Some things. It's just a little bit too glitchy for me to actually acquire for some reason. Don't know why that is, but that's fine. What's over here? Bunch of nothing. I guess theoretically I could jump up there and just try to do it that way, but that's a little reckless, don't you think? All right, let's go upstairs. What's this? Oh, components, health. We have a lot of like health kits. We have 27 of them. Okay, attribute required, use technical ability, which I cannot do! Shit. Um, that sucks. Um, let's take a look at our character. So we'll have to actually upgrade our 
technical ability to actually do that. So maybe there is a different method of going in. Hmm. Let's try. Just for trying's sake. Since we have a room, there must be other ways to get in there other than, you know, the, the simple way. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. Freaking smart. I don't like that noise. It's not good. What's this? Food. Let's sneak. Stop! No! Who put out the hit? Hi! Oops. Give me a name! Stop! Uh, not one more uh, fucking uh, no. step! Anna, no! Anna, drop this investigation. No. It's in your best interest. That a threat? I'd remind no. you, you're the one in the fucking crosshairs. Uh, hey, no, easy. I just, I just want to help. Help? Phonic implant must be fried. I think you men intimidate. Just to end your investigation. Uh oh. She mad. I'm sorry, lady. Oh, she hurts. Oh boy. That did not go the way I wanted it to. Fuck. Well. That's unfortunate. What else do we have here? Um, contemporary Netrunners group. Let's read that. Among notable Netrunner groups or cells in recent years, found in translation has undoubtedly emerged as the most infamous the four members of the group known only as by their aliases JD, AP, SK, and BPM, primarily target major Braindance studios and productions. The first reported cyber attacks perpetrated by found in translation FIT were breached or breaches of studio data fortresses that contain Braindance files slated for release. They made a slight adjustments to the recording data in order to replace positive emotions towards corporations with hot blooded hate and to erase corporate logos that were planted for promotional purposes. In July of 2076, after a FIT altered version of the brain dance, Badlands Raid hit the market in the Pacific Northwest, many consumers took to the streets of Seattle in a surge of violent and anti-corporate riots. Following the incident, studios tightened security measures and the law enforcement authorities formally recognized FIT as a terrorist cell that posed a significant risk to public safety and order. In response, FIT adapted to its tactics. Rather than solely launching attacks on Braindance procedures, they have begun to infiltrate a domestic and commercial Braindance units to corrupt or alter data. Their most recent data, man data manipulation attacks on the Braindances, Wasteland Fury, and Slave to the Supervisory Board have cemented their reputation as a formidable Netrunner cell that refuses to yield to outside pressure. Great. Awesome, I'm glad I just came here and I decided I was gonna, you know, murder people instead. I just slashed at her a lot, you know, and that was it. Ah, Her gun's at least better. Yay! Ugh. I mean, I'll take it. Ricochet weapons. Power allows you to... Ooh, that's cool. I can just ricochet? That's dope. That's awesome. Um, let me just go in here. Do, 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 do. Inventory. Yes. Let's actually unequip that and replace this pistol with said pistol. There we go. Looks good. Got a new gun. It's powerful. Unfortunately, I performed an oopsie. I can't believe it. Um, I'll take this. Archive conversation, Anna Hamill and Robert Kowalski. Can one listen to that? Yes. Captain, if you want me to drop this case, I'll need you to request it in writing. Anna, be reasonable here. Anna, be a good girl. Anna, behave. Anna, don't rock the boot. Rock the boat, excuse me. I've always liked you to wish is why I have something to tell you. On the edge of my seat. Sometimes it's the right call. To let it go? Give up? 
Took out for yourself. Well, thanks for the tip. Report that the investigation stalled, that the intel you got was bunk, that the Kabuki market is a hotbed for anything but Asian food. And of course, some pretty bootleg cyberware, but nothing you wouldn't find anywhere else in town. Do yourself a favor and close the book on this one. Again, appreciate the expert advice. Glad I wasn't wrong about you, Captain. This is the last time I'll say it. Let it go. Sure, sure. Consider it done. It's totally considered it. Obviously not to that extent. Oh, she doesn't look happy. Are you alive? I am so sorry. Okay, just let her suffer. Just looting her body and everything. Well, she's dead now. Now what am I gonna do? I don't remember how to hold the body. That's probably fine. Probably. I can't believe she was still alive. Let's just leave the area real quick and get a reward. Oh, uh, we have to go further downward. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna hang out here for a moment. Um, hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Cyberpunk 2077 where we had a nice meeting with Dex. And then I totally failed miserably trying to save an individual by telling her to leave. Yeah. Oopsie. If you guys liked it, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what you guys think of today's episode, what you guys are looking forward to in the next episode. And uh, if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe to me, Matt Squash 924 over on YouTube. And don't forget to ring the bell so you can get notified for when a new episode of Cyberpunk comes out. And I'll see you all next time on Cyberpunk 2077. Bye-bye.